uh, we have Mr. Squirrel in the bird feeder just enjoying the sunflower seeds and some of the other seeds just recently put out the bird food and it looks like he's having a good old chant. I did try recording some before but it was just the back of Mr. Squirrel and obviously I think it's a lot more interesting to see the front of him. I know some people aren't as keen on squirrels but we don't tend to see them quite as much here so it's a bit more of a a treat. Aaron will be sad that he's missed Mr. Squirrel. We do see him wander around at times. But, and he does tend to plant things in certain areas like we've got a a conker growing in, some, in one place and I've noticed we've got a, a sunflower in another so he's doing his bit off. He goes out and all wandering the garden. But yeah, we like squirrels personally. We think they're cute. But not as cute as an Einstein. Yes, you're still the cutest, don't worry. You're still the cute one. Yes. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yes. And now normal service has resumed with the feeding bowl being just dominated by one pigeon. Although normally they do flick stuff out when there's a crowd around, but yep, that's our normal view. A pigeon just ski off in all that scram. Hey there Aaron. I've got to feed my other babies now. Aaron's gonna feed the birds. Cup into bag. Hi everyone. And so someone requested that we tried some Polish food. We're pretty sure the, this is Polish, but I'm sure you'll be able to tell us. And so we've got some krokiti and some pierogies. We did have a couple of different pierogies. We went for the potato and cottage cheese. Then these are croquettes with meat. So we're just going to cut those up and just eat them. We don't sure how the best way you'd normally have them served or how authentic they are but yeah we'll cook them up and eat them won't we why did you say cottage cheese what if something's got cottage cheese in it yeah the probies potato and cottage cheese yeah and so yeah we cooked up these meaty crepey croquettes and I read that for the pierogies they say sour cream but we've got some of our other sauces just in case. Um, well they seen the plates yeah. No. no I've not shown them the plates. We don't know what... Obviously... I've got an idea what it's going to taste like but yeah so that's the plates. And so I'm sure they probably serve it slightly different than this but... Yeah. We're just have to let trying a little taste and just doing it. Lines. I suppose we really should have watched one else try it. So yeah, we'll try one of these meaty croquette things. Do you know what it's called? I can get the packet and you can see if you can pronounce it. Oh. It smells nice. But the little pasty parcel things. Pierogies. Yeah, the pierogies are the little... They've got some sort of... Cold. Quite as cheesy, which is like a dumpling. Going to like with the pierogies, you can either boil them a bit like your ravioli or fry them. So I fried them because it smells so, good. So cro the croquette, cro croquette. I suppose it's a bit like so. It says croquettes with me. Yeah, but I think the croquettes more to do with the shape of it rather than obviously we're used to thinking of potato croquettes. Let's try it. Then. Yeah, I'll try it without any sauce. I suppose it does remind me a bit of a crispy pancake. Now you mention it, but... So yeah, it tastes <laughs> nice in all of the sauces. Mm. And then there were a few different pierogies and we went for the ones that is... What is the meat? I'm, I imagine beef, but... 
it's a mixture of poor candy. I'm not keen on the sour cream with it. I know. Maybe no. the sour cream try with the with the pierogi. So let's try pierogi. Not so easy to count half, is that I imagine there would be. Mm. You're a stubborn little sucker. And so yeah, the pierogi. <laughs> don't know if it's just our taste, but I think the pierogi tastes better in the one of the more tomatoey sauce ones, like either the chili or the. Mm. <clears throat> but the, the two, uh, they do just remind me of a like a mix between a little pasty or a, a little ravioli. Yeah, they don't taste. I was a bit dubious about whether I was going to like them or not. Yeah, they taste pleasant, but obviously, I think having it with the sauce for our personal. Aaron's open one up so he can see what it's like inside. Mm. That's the inside of one. I did that on purpose, but. So it's all pleasant. I say out of the two, I'm enjoying the croquette things a bit more just because there's more flavours. And mm. I suppose really sometimes we should try the, whatever yeah. the other flavoured pierogi was. I'm quite enjoying the pierogies, which is unusual, I didn't think I would. So Einstein is pursuit. Assumed his position behind Aaron's legs, and we're having a cup of coffee. And there's this Polish wafer called a Grzecki. Is it authentic? But it's made in Poland. So. Is it? Yeah. Are you able to open it, or do you want me to? So Aaron's just conserving his NRJ. Ready for my night shift tonight. Last night was a doozy. And I'm having an Americano in my heat resistant glass that we got from Costco. Gosh, it's chocolate covered. It's, yeah, it just looks, I'm sure it's just like all the other wafers really, but it feels very light. It's taste... slightly like a blue ribbon. So, yeah. Can you taste hazelnut? Mm. So there we go. It's a bit like a blue ribbon. Lovely. Lovely. It is nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey guys, hey. Um, another banger of a workout sesh at um, the gym. Um, and now Ian's making us... A... What the hell is that? Making chilli. What are those big? It's called vegetables, darling. It's vegetable chili. Yeah. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Oh, well, you bought it with me, kid. Did I? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So we're just having some veggie chili, and then we're gonna get some shopping. Um. Yeah, Anything right. you wanna add to that, Ian? Rock and roll. Hey. Hey there, Aaron. What are you doing dressed up like that on a Tuesday night? Someone's agreed to go into work at the hotel. Yeah, last minute kind of thing. And I'm going straight from working at the hotel to working at my other job for four hours. <laughs> Yay! Um, but Ian's so I went out to get, kindly gone to get my drink. We got Aaron an energy drink. We already had this salted... Uh, I don't know, caramel latte, mm -hmm. iced. Nice. Then I picked up some sushi because you enjoy our sushi. This is katsu chicken roll sushi. Yeah. And then some filled cookies for a little bit. I of... do like the filled cookies. Yeah. So hopefully that will keep me going for a few hours. Yeah. So yeah, that's what's happening. Good times. And stands asleep upstairs. Taking it easy. Bless him. So here we are at Dad's. <laughs> here we are at Dad's where he's listening to the radio again and watching the TV at the same time. You got anything to say to your fans, Dad? 
Everyone loves seeing you on the videos now. Yeah. What? Who's that handsome beast? Stick a picture on a young, young picture of me. <laughs> a young picture? What's wrong with now? Gosh. Like, who's that sexy man? That's what they all say in the comments. Who's that fitty? <laughs> oh dear, dear. What's that picture? What's what picture? Me should you need. Yeah? That's what you look like. <laughs> That's what you look like now. See, which one can I get my good looks from, eh? Oh, Dad, you've just got, you've just got better with age. Like a fine wine. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Fun times at Dad's. Hey Ian, hey! Hey there guys, so we've just finished our tea and we had the katsu curry that we got from the farm shop and it wasn't our favourite one, it was a bit of an intense one. It's weird how it was a weird curry flavour but not like katsu. At least not like the ones that we had from Wag Mama. Ian's just, um, so yeah, so we're basically, um, making it. With the help of our friend Betty Crocker. Betty Crocker. She's always helping us out, to be fair. So we're making a, a red velvet. We never made a red velvet cake from her, have we? So yeah. should be interesting. So we've just come back from the gym. The gym. Burning rubber at the gym. Yeah. Burning rubber. What do you say that you do at the gym? What's it called when you're doing some pumping iron at the gym? That's the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Burning all your pants at the gym. Pretty much done that as well. Um, so to reward ourselves for going to the gym for about 25 minutes. <laughs> How long has it been? It probably has been about 25 minutes. Um, we thought we'd, uh, what's it called? Reward ourselves with a nice bit of cake. Yeah, we were made this before we went and we've just been letting it cool yeah so it's a red velvet red ah. velvet unfortunately we did try and make a red velvet before but it didn't turn out very red did it just what ian looks like after the gym very shimmery <laughs> no you don't and here's einstein einstein Einie. why hasn't this cake been done yet why haven't you iced this cake for us when we got home? Hey? Yeah. You've been lazy, haven't you? Just sitting around the house. And there's some frosting that we made earlier. <laughs> Unfortunately, Betty Crocker just does it too well. Yeah, she's just too good at her job. So we have tried doing one before, but I don't know if this one might be a little bit better in a lot more. I want the crumbs outside like they do on, um, like they do at Costco. Yeah, you need have to trim some of the outside. Oh no, it's too late, forget about it. Anyway, we're going to finish it off and we'll let you see what it looks like. We would let you have some, obviously, but you know. We're having our feet. <laughs> so, there's the finished product. Obviously, I would have liked me to, like, trim the edges, then crumbs in. Sprinkle the crumbs around the edge. But it's crummy enough as it is. That's for another one, sir. So Just to say, to... I'll use the bit. This should get through. Oh, it? this will be funny. What's... This is going to be hilarious, this. So look how hilarious that is. Is that okay for someone? Yeah. We have done it. Yeah, oh, if I was a borrower. Does anyone remember the borrowers? Oh, Einstein wants some. I want to get it. Oh, boo boo. I'm sorry. It's... I think it's a ginormous piece of chicken, don't you? But it's not. Reasonably red. Obviously, some ones from Costco like proper red. Yeah. Don't know how. But... It's like, it's like red like blood when it's dried. You can tell Aaron not just like almost... For me, it's a bit like a um, corned beef. <laughs> Like a corned beef cake. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. Oh, corned beef cake. That's nice. Yeah. 
if you have like corned beef and then you have like dripping on top. It was last time you had corned beef. <laughs> corned beef pasta. So, so great. Corned beef pasties from um, Greg's. Anyway, oh, they are good. How long ago was that? Oh, I don't know. Never seen those. Not too good to go, is they're too, they're too good, they get sold out too quick. No, they don't make them anymore, do they? <laughs> so you're gonna... Thank you, darling. Try some for the... For the... Oh, thank band. you, darling. That's a, I'm just trying to... Tell everyone it tastes amazingly delicious. Amazingly satisfying. Don't drop it on the floor, <laughs> kid. <laughs> is it not tough to eat it? Gosh. <gasps> <laughs> Out loud, how hard is it just to get someone to put a, one block of cake <laughs> in their mouth? It. It's too much pressure. So, here we go. <laughs> Yummy, just like the one from Costco. Anyway, so now we're going to eat that. Aaron's got a Coke made with something else. That's not Bessie. I've got it's not Aunt Bessie, it's Betty Crocker, kid. Aunt Bessie's one who does his taters. Cheers, Aunt Bessie. Betty Crocker. Aunt Bessie. <laughs> now I'm having some milk, so. Yep. And then we're going to go to bed what after we've that? had a shower.